In this video, we're going to look at creating a custom field set and then printing my homeroom list in one page using the quick report option in My Education BC. So this is a de-identified database. None of the student data is real. I'm logged in as a teacher, and what I'm going to do is change my field set. When you first log in, oftentimes people will see the address book field set as the default one that they see. Not very useful, uh, but one that's probably more useful for teachers is default. Uh, to start with. But I'm going to show you how to make one from scratch and fill in the columns that you want and then I'm going to show you how to use quick reports to print off what we see. So field sets, manage field sets. This opens a window and we're going to click on new to create a new field set. I suggest you use initials um, or something like my field set Initials are helpful just in case someone else creates one called my field sets and shares it to the whole school. So initials shows that this is mine. The left hand side are tables and fields that I can put data in to the right hand side. The right hand side is what columns will show uh, in my field set. I like to sort the left hand side by A to Z and I want the first one to be a name of some kind. There is one in the list called name this is the legal concatenated name, last name, comma, first. I like that one because in my training environment, my usual names are all blank. So I'm going to put name in there. Um, you can scroll down and find their usual names as well. If I put usual name in, that's the concatenated usual last, comma, usual first. But if you put in the usual first or usual last, you'll be able to uh, search by their first name only by clicking on that field later and doing the search function. So legal name, usual first, usual last, in my environment they're all blank the usuals are and I want something like their alerts so I know if there's a life-threatening medical alert I want their grade there's a lot of things, I'll put their gender in there put their grade level you could find the home phone and that will be the home phone under the students demographics uh, if you needed their address or something else like that, you can look through what is available to you here. Click it, hit the add button, it pushes it over on the right hand side. You can change the order of these things. So if you wanted home phone after the names, you can select it and move it up or down. Hit the save button when you're happy with your field set. That will refresh this page. Uh, it'll show you your field set at the bottom. Hit close. That will refresh this page and now our new field set will show up right here. I'm going to click on that. It will change which columns I see. You can see my usuals are all blank in the training environment. There's my alerts. The red cadaceous means a life-threatening medical. The blue scales of justice means a legal alert. And there's other types of alerts that you can hover over and click on. It will tell you what the alert is for the child. From here, I can run a quick report by clicking on the printer. I can pick web page HTML, which is really good if you just want to print off this list. So I click that, a window pops up, it'll generate a web page for me. The icons do not print for some reason, I'm not exactly sure why, so if you're wanting to print this, you may or may not want to remove your alerts column. Right click, print. That's how you can create a custom report, or a custom field set, and use the quick report button to create a class list that will print on one page.